Hi guys and welcome back to my plus size grandma reality show podcast. Hey, I'm Coco. I'm Coco. And y'all, I am on here. Y'all, today we are cooking some Swedish meatballs up in this kitchen. And I already got a head start on you. Let me tell you, we're going to use ground turkey meat. I hope that all of you are having a great time. Had a great day. You know, it's in the evening time here. But I hope that you've had a great day. And I'm looking for a couple more seasonings that I need for my meatballs now. Okay, just want a little more seasoning. Okay, well, I guess that's a sign I don't need it. Okay, so yeah, doing some Swedish meatballs here. I'm going to do them with some noodles. Uh Uh-oh, I found it, I found it. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and tell y'all my seasonings right quick. Right quickly. That's how my mama used to say. Come here right quickly. Come here right quickly. Okay, so. I got four pounds of turkey meat here because, of course, I'm cooking this for my granddaughters. For their lunch or dinner tomorrow, whenever they decide to eat it, they're going to have it. Because, you know, they out of school right now. Don't go back to Thursday, and I volunteered to be the cook. So, onion powder, garlic powder is always a must, y'all. You know we can't get away from that. I got some Italian seasoning that I'm putting in here now. I mean, zesty Italian dressing. I'm just going to add just a little bit to that, a little bit of it. Um, I got ketchup in here. I got Italian seasoning. I got basil in here. Lots of basil. Well, not lots of basil, but a good chunk amount of basil. I also have some um, two pieces of bread that I have broken up really good and fine. And we're just mixing all this stuff together. I'm going to add an egg to that. Now, I'm going to tell y'all something that made my meatballs the bomb. Last time I cooked some meatballs and I didn't have my milk. But I had some bottled water. I had to improvise, right? And so that it it doesn't be dry, you have to add a little bit of water in there. And so that you can get that smooth texture of a meatball. Y'all know we don't like the meatball to look like hamburger meat. We want it to look smooth, kind of. Like it done been mixed. Like somebody knew how to roll it, you know. (laughs) Now, I'm not going to add any onions to this because I did add onion powder. And I'm going to add onions to my sauce. So, that's why I'm not adding that. All right. So, next thing. I got some water here. Like I said, once I get all that mixed in. Because I had a head start on y'all today. Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, some black pepper. Don't forget to add your black pepper in there. Some crushed red pepper if you like crushed red pepper. My girls prefer to add it on their own for me. Now, if I was cooking this just for me, I would, like, have me tons of crushed red pepper in here. But I'm not cooking it just for me. And you can always smell to see if it's seasoned to the way you think it ought to taste. (laughs) But if you ain't got no smell inside, you might want to load up on the... No sodium seasoning. All right, so keep working this mixture till it comes all together. So, how y'all been today? If you're in the chat, you can hit me up. Sometimes I have people in the chat, and when I'm not paying attention, that's when they hit me up, and I'll be like, God, I didn't see you. So, it's up to you. It's up to you if you if you want to hit me up. All right, y'all, and don't forget to share out, like, and subscribe. Go like my YouTube video. We got some good news coming up soon. It's coming up soon. We're gonna have some good news, okay? So, okay, let me see there. I'm sharing y'all out the Facebook. 
tell y'all something. There is no, I don't see how people can walk around miserable. There's no excuse to be miserable. I mean, we seen what Corona came through and did just like that in a matter of two years. We had a great number of the population gone. Okay, I'm just, uh, we had a great number of the population gone. And so, you know, I don't know how people can just run around and thinking that being hate and hateful and controlling is the way to go. Uh-uh, no. Listen, y'all, I didn't say 2022, I ain't letting your black self or white self or Hispanic self, whatever self you is, I'm not letting yourself hold me back from nothing that God has for me. My emotions, none of that. This is my year to soar. I'm trusting God with the soaring. I'm trusting God with everything in me. And if, if it's people just doing stuff that just don't make no sense to me, it don't set right in my spirit, it, it's not nothing that's going to be productive to help me grow any. I mean, why would I sit there and listen? You know, why would I sit there and listen? Or why would I join into, you know, organizations that are, are of no benefit to me? Because that way, you know, to only keep doing something. Listen, folks, I'm going to tell you the honest truth. To keep doing something and you know you don't like it, you killing yourself like that. You stressing yourself out. Man up, woman up enough and say, I'm tired of doing this. I want to do something different. You know, don't hurt others. Don't hurt others for trying. All right, y'all. So I think I got this mixed in pretty good here. Yeah. Uh oh. I wasn't thinking about that. Sure wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't thinking I needed something to put these meatballs in once I get them made up. I'm going to try to make. Usually I kind of try to do them a little smaller because my granddaughter, when she did them, Zalia, she made them meatballs just right. I was like, dog, either mine be too big or to be too small. But she did them, she rolled them out for me one day. And she did a great job on it. But y'all, tomorrow I'm going to be with her tomorrow. And I am, let me tell y'all what I'm doing with her tomorrow. Tomorrow I am putting braids in her hair. So, so you say if you mind your business and you take care of what you're supposed to take care of, you don't have time to really be in other folk business. You don't have time to put other people down because you're too busy making sure that your stuff right. So that's why I be like, I don't, I, I take that back. I used to say I be in a world of my own. No, I don't. No, I don't. I be right where God want me to be. And I'm going to say that because a lot of times when people think I'm just sitting around by myself or doing nothing, I am doing something. Just because you don't know about it don't mean I got to tell it. Don't mean I have to even share it. I ain't even got to mention it. And, and a lot of times I didn't mention anything that I was doing because it was just so much negativity out here. So that's why I don't be, I don't be telling everything that I'm doing. Y'all, I forgot to tell y'all, add some parsley. Now I got to go back and mix this stuff all over again because I forgot to add parsley. Okay. But I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay. But see, what I'm saying is, yeah, let me mix here. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, and it's the parsley too, y'all, that give it a really good flavor. And that sauce is going to have um, a good amount of parsley, not overwhelming it, but enough that you can get that sweetest taste on there. And I'm going to pan fry these. I'm going to pan saute them because I'm going to put them in my oil. And, I mean, put them in my own. Um, I'm going to make the sauce all there. It's, well, we'll get to that part when we get to it, y'all. <laughs> but, yeah, I used to tell people. I used to announce on Facebook. You know, you learn. You live and you learn. I used to announce on Facebook, I'm getting ready to do this. I'm getting ready to do that. And when it got time for me to do the stuff, you know, people that I thought would support me, they wasn't <laughs> trying to support me. They didn't support me. 
And not only that, they were, you know, uh, running around saying that I was doing stuff that I wasn't doing, you know. So I learned from that moment on that there's just some things you got to do and be quiet about it until you can get it done. Till you get it to a point where you know it's stable. Till you know that you didn't birth that thing, you didn't gave it life, and you know without a shadow of a doubt, can't nobody stop it. You know, keep it in on the hush hush. You only share it with the ones that you're supposed to share it with. You know what? As I'm rolling these things out, I am just gonna go ahead and get my pan heating up and just put it in there as they coming out. A lot of people are so focused on death right now that they don't even see the life that God has in front of them. And that's why they, you know, they want to focus on things dying all the time. Ain't we done did that enough? If we want life out here, we got to act like it. Yeah, some bad stuff going on, but this bad stuff ain't greater than God. And never will be. Never will be greater than God. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I had to step off a minute there. Get me some. Okay. Had to get me some more paper towel. None of this stuff out here is greater than God. Period. None of it. That's why I stick with God. And what the way he done pulled this off on me. Like I didn't even, you know that saying. <laughs> when people say God is working for you and you don't even know it. I'm a testimony to that. That's why I can't stop talking about the book. Like I got to keep giving God praise for that. Because that book that I wrote, that thing came out in 2017. I didn't went on about my business. Somebody brought a unit January the 7th. I'm like, somebody's still buying this. This is still relevant. I may go back and add some to it because you know you can do that with the Amazon books. You can add some to it. I had one guy who left a review on Facebook and he was like, I was getting into it and then it just stops. I felt like you should have added a lot more to it. So that we would know more about how you came out or what you came out of. And I would have added more to it. But um, at that time, I think I released it how God wanted me to release it. That's what he gave me to write. And, like, I wrote that with no problem. No problem at all. And I wrote that book in a matter of hours. It won't even days. And I edited it in a matter of hours and had it up and live within 48 hours. It was published within 48 hours of me writing it. That's how God works, though, y'all. And that's why I say, you know, I can't afford to be listening to discouraging people and people just got all kind of uh, agendas in their head. I mean, I, th I honestly believe some people just looking for people to boss around. And I honestly believe, too, that there are a lot of people out here who are just looking for puppets. People that they can make jump. And they sit back and laugh at them every time they jump. Like these narcissistic people. These narcissistic people are real. And when you start dealing with them, you will see how much of your life goes down. My life went down. When I started dealing with narcissistic people, like I remember when I was in high school, I had dreams of going to the army. I know my dad went to the Navy, but I wanted to go to the Army. I wanted to go to college. I, it was so much I wanted to do in college. I wanted to fight for um, human rights. I wanted to be a lawyer. That's what I really wanted to be. If I could have been anything in this world and it just lay in my lap, it would have been a lawyer. But it didn't even turn out that way because at that time I won't even... Uh, I won't even behaving like somebody who wants to be a lawyer. And I think it's important that we teach our young children to behave like who you want to be like when you get older. Behave like the person you want to be when you get older, you know. It, it matters that you talk to your children like that sometimes. I ain't telling them to get old before their time, but, you know, we do have to let kids know, hey, 
you know, you're going to come across some folk that may try to use you. You're going to come across some people who are going to sound like God and look like God. But if you examine that word of God, then it's not of God. And I tell you, there is just no greater feeling than when you know God has his hands on it. And how you know when God has his hands on it is because... You don't have to lie. You don't have to cheat. You don't have to steal. You don't have to manipulate. <laughs> Do y'all know how many times I walked away from this book? I didn't even check this book for months and months and years. I think I went, I know I went about a year and a half one time and didn't even look back on Amazon to see if it made any sales or anything. But I'm just saying, that's the way it is. God is still working on your behalf. Even though, you know, you didn't go on and started something different. It don't stop God from working. So I'm like, I'm really excited about that thing. That he come back and he proved to me. He showed himself to me that, hey, this book was worthy of your writing. This book was worthy of your time. Your getting up and being obedient. It was not in vain. And I thank God for that. So I know y'all hear my little sizzling, right? That's because I am making meatballs, talking, and, and, and sauteing at the same time, y'all. I'm like doing this. I'm multitasking. That's what they call it. And I got some more good news for y'all, too. But I can't even tell y'all. I can't even tell y'all what I want to tell y'all. It ain't time. It ain't time. I want to tell y'all so bad. But I can say it's going to help. I, I will give you this much about it. It's going to help those that are having serious issues in mental health. It is about mental health, you know, what I got to do. And it's been a long time overdue, I think. Long time overdue. I wish y'all had smell a podcast vision. Because if y'all smell these little meatballs, y'all be like, girl, stop it. And I forgot to post up what I cooked last night. I'm going to see if this little phone will let me. I'm going to see if it will let me record something. Not the one that I'm on, but I have another phone beside me. This is a very simple recipe, y'all. All the food that I cook is simple. It don't. Food that I cook, it don't require a lot. You know, it's low-maintenance food. <laughs> This is low maintenance food. So it don't require you to be, you know, trying to buy stuff that you don't already have. Like everybody usually has, well, if you're a salt and pepper chick, you know, you already got salt and pepper, so you can do what you got to do with the salt and pepper. But it, it doesn't require you to really put anything that you don't want to put in it. Or it don't require you to go and get some extra stuff. Okay, y'all. So these little meatballs are in the skillet. And they are doing their thing. Meanwhile, I am still rolling on my end. Well, I'm videoing right now. Yes. And I'm going to stay on here with y'all for like probably, I don't know. We'll see. If I get quiet... Just know that I'm concentrating on making these meatballs. <laughs> but I got to thank God for y'all that listen to this podcast because y'all have just helped me out so much. Okay, so. I just want to cook these enough that they be done. You know, a little tender done. I wish y'all could smell these babies. They smell so good. Now, I didn't add Worcestershire sauce this time. But you can add it in there if you want to. I didn't add it in there this time because I'm not putting these in the oven. Everything's going to be cooked right here in front of me. If y'all don't remember, I brought the one skillet. The skillet that you plug in. I left the skillet when I didn't have a stove. I have a stove now, by the way. It's a beautiful stove, too. 
But I just got so used to doing one skillet meals, like, it feels strange um, standing up to a stove now. But these are really good. And listen, don't do like I did. I just flipped the meatball over. And what I did, I mashed it. You don't want a burger, so don't mash it. <laughs> Why would I do that? These are going to be really good. But see, when I didn't have an oven, I learned how to make this skillet behave like an oven. You know, I improvised on what I had. And I, um, I modified it. I modified a lot of my traditional recipes to where they could be cooked on this skillet. And I would tell y'all, look, you, if you don't have it like that, don't worry about it. You know, use what you got. Some people try to make you feel bad because you ain't got it like that. Shoot. I, don't even, I used to worry about people um, making me feel bad. I used to not. I used to, everything people used to say, I used to take it to heart and it used to um, dictate my mood. It either made me feel good or it made me feel bad. I And y'all, you can't tell me you don't feel like a yo-yo when somebody playing with your emotions like that because you really do. Anyway, I felt like a yo-yo. Never was stable-minded. This was all before I got saved, y'all. Before I got saved. Yep. Before I got saved, that's uh, how I was. Okay, let me get this out. Because I need this thing. But I absolutely love using what I got and today is one skillet Swedish meatball. Okay. <laughs> and oh my goodness, don't do this to me. They gonna be good. Cause I can smell them already. And y'all already know, like, I'm waiting for one to come up out of this skillet. So I can test it out. <laughs> it don't even take long to really fry them, is it? Cause I'm just sauteing. It ain't even much oil in this pan. I need them to form. I need them to form because... We got to add water and stuff to this to finish cooking them. I and we got to add, you know, all the other stuff. So, I don't know. I may pre-cook and then put them in the oven. I don't know, y'all. I just might do that. Hmm. I just might. Because I do have a lot of them. Like, I'm already, I already made like 30... 30 of these balls. This is four pounds of meat. Four pounds of turkey meat. And I'm feeding. I think it's like. Let me see. Five, seven, eight. I'm feeding nine people off of four pounds of turkey meat. Oh, these things are looking good. So I was playing bass today, y'all. And I just was like, oh my God, this song is so beautiful. Lion of Judah. Do y'all want to hear it? Because I will set this podcast on fire with it. These are so beautiful, y'all. Wish you could just see how beautiful it is and you know how nice and round and gorgeous. Good morning, gorgeous. I like to play that song on the guitar. <laughs> I'm enjoying my bass guitar. I got mine from Glary. And I didn't I didn't invest in an Ibanez or Fender. I wanted to. Now I have played Fender and I have played Ibanez. Ibanez is my favorite on bass. And Fender is my favorite on lead. 
So I have played both kinds. And I liked them. Uh, and I just like. They wasn't mine. So I couldn't keep them. When I was playing them. Been to um, video this. That sting. Get out my camera lot. Yeah, I could not, um, trying to move this around so, so you can see the meatballs. Come on, go on, go on. But yeah, I had both. Oh, that light is just too bright. I have played both of those. And I absolutely adore them. And so that that's my next thing I want to get is a glary lead guitar and I'm, I'm not investing in the expensive ones right now because you know I'm just I'm just you know I'm beginner and I want to learn a little more before I start investing into bigger things and plus I want to get my money up y'all hey I love it so much just as long as I'm playing something that's how much I love it I'm trying to get my paper up there's things I gotta do so, I ain't, hey, if I could chill with just that, the one I got, I'm good on that. Brand does matter, but not not when you got low finance. When you're on a budget, I was on a budget, okay? And I brought that thing when I wasn't even supposed to buy it, but God just blessed me in a way that day. And I was like, well, shoot, let me go ahead and take advantage of this and get it. Because God had blessed me like that, that day. And I got it for... I think I paid a hundred dollars, ninety-one dollars, ninety-one dollars for the guitar, and it come with a twenty-watt amp. You can't beat that. But that amp, I still have not figured out how in the world to plug it up. It doesn't plug to anything. It's crazy how that is. Like super crazy. I'm, this better taste good because I'm trying to think. Did I cook the last ones like this or what? I may have. I think I did. I think I did. I don't mind being hands on. I sure don't. So all these babies are in there and they just are getting it. They just are getting it in there. Okay, so, uh, let me see. What am I going to do next? What I'm going to do next is, I have a little pan here. I'm going to go ahead and make these mugs out, and I'm going to go ahead and put them into this pan, because uh, this is taking an awful long time, and it is kind of like 8.39 here. <laughs> But I needed that little bit of, um, just a little bit of that flavor of the turkey meat and stuff. I needed it in the pan so when I make my sauce, oh, it's going to be good, y'all. It's going to be fire. I make my sweetest sauce. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and roll these out, put them into this pan, and, you know, like, be blah, 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 done with it. So, y'all, I don't know what the weather is tonight, but I know they're calling for some more snow in my area. I have not looked myself to see what it says. I'm just going by what I have been seeing on Facebook, and I can say I thank God that that snow did not hit, the ice storm did not hit bad. My power didn't go out. I can thank God for that, too. All right, y'all, so, yeah, I'm here rolling now. I'm finna roll these suckers fast. But y'all, you know what, though? You know, I was talking to y'all the other day about, you know, when you don't have nothing to do at home and you're a person that likes to talk and stuff, starting your podcast is not going to be bad at all for you. You're going to get some benefits out of that. You know how to promote really good, you're going to get paid really good. 
If you suck at promoting, you're going to be sucked at getting paid. <laughs> Hire somebody to promote for you. I actually used to know how to do a lot of that stuff, y'all. And did, I have spent the last six months training myself on how to get back to doing this stuff. And it is not easy at all for me. But like I said, I've been training myself and, you know, going back studying and stuff. Because I lost a lot of memory. And a lot of that memory, you know, had to do with my business. So... Okay, so I'm loving this how this is turning out. Those are already about done. Shoot. Okay, I'm gonna cut this eye off because well I could no. I don't want well, yeah, I am gonna have to cook some more in there. I am gonna have to cook some more in here because I don't think my pan is going to fit them all just like that. But I've been going back teaching myself how to do stuff. And, you know, some of it is kind of familiar once I get into it really good. And then some of it is like, what in the world is this? Like. And you know what? I don't feel bad at all for having to start over. I think this start over is probably better than when I first started because I'm more so skilled and wis I have more, more skilled at wisdom and understanding now. When I first started in the music industry, I was just ready to make money. I was just ready to become famous. As a at that time as an A and R and you know manager. That's what I was looking for. I wasn't. I didn't have my sights set on, you know, longevity and stability. And you know, you just jump out here like that and you don't have no kind of stability about yourself. You don't have nothing that's going to sustain you when, when stuff get bad. You're not going to last long. Now with the guitar stuff, the guitar that's just my hobby. I don't know what God has for me in store with that. He may make it when my YouTube channel blows up with it. Because that's sure where it's going to be at. Just don't know. I'm trying to roll these fast. Y'all hear me throwing them. <laughs> uh. My biggest thing, though, has been my concentration. Like, I can start something, but I, I'm not finishing it. And that's becoming a problem. So, I'm like, I learned that I have to pace myself out. Whatever I do, I got to pace it. Because if I get too excited about it, it it's not going to get done. The excitement going to take my energy. Yup, been learning that. Y'all know I'm finna try a couple of these bad boys because they smell so good. Y'all know y'all cooking neat too. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what I'm going to do next. Um, These little droplets I have, these little crummy things in the oil that I have from where I sauteed them. I'm going to add some butter. Once I add some butter, probably like, because this is a kind of big pan. So I'm going to add like maybe two teaspoons of butter. And then I'm going to add some flour. I don't want my flour to brown like gravy. I just want it to cook because this is going to be a roux. Then I'm going to add my water to it. And um, let me see. What else? And then uh, let me see. Oh y'all, I'm, I'm losing train of thought. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Okay, so my roux gonna make that, and we're gonna make sure that we boil some um some egg noodles. They, oh y'all smelling this is so good. Some wide egg noodles. Gonna add that to some water, boil it, strain it, then add it back into the pan with the sauce. Add your um 
meatballs, put it all together. Then you're going to have some Swedish meatballs. That's all you do. It ain't hard at all, folks. I tell my daughter, I, I had to teach my daughter for the longest. Like, I told her, she used to say, Mom, I don't like to cook. I don't like to cook. I don't like to cook. I said, girl, stop it. Love it. Because this is something you're going to need to know how to do the rest of your life. Not just for one day of your life, but you're going to always need to know how to cook. Especially when you got kids. You know. And so I told her, just reframe how you think about it. I mean, look at you. You get to control the ingredients, what you put in there. Oh, my back tripping a little bit. Ugh. You get to control what you put in there. The ingredients, you get to cook it how you want to cook it. And whoever don't like it, you know, they ain't got to eat it. More for you. I mean, there's such broody in cooking. And I don't know where we got to the place where we... And I'm not, I'm not talking about my daughter, but I'm talking about... I was like that, too, when I was growing up. Like, I wasn't taught to enjoy these things like cooking. I was taught that it was dreadful. And, and you know, I'm just saying, the women that I was around, they always made it seem like... And I ain't even talking about my mom at this point, because I won't never run her like that for her cooking. Because my daddy was the one taught me how to cook. But I'm talking about other women I was around. They made it seem like cooking Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner... Or just dinner every day was the hardest thing to do. I mean, they just dreaded all the time. They never smiled for doing nothing. They just always... I mean, I know you get tired of cooking sometimes. But, but every time, every once in a while, you ought to put a smile on your face and be thankful that you're able to cook. That you got a good mind to cook. That you got good hands and arms and you got all your limbs and stuff. There's people out here who don't got it all. And when I see them on TikTok and, on, I, and I see them on YouTube and Facebook, I be like, girl, you got to get up from here now because that ain't right. God gave it to you and he, only, he gave them what he gave them. But he gave you a full body that you can use. And so I learned how to stop all that whining and stuff. And I learned how to cook and enjoy it. Now, I tell you what, though. If you got a bad man, <laughs> you're not going to enjoy it. If you got bad vibes around you, people who got negative energy, no, nah, you won't enjoy cooking. So, I don't know if that was around negative people or what. But I know, I said when my daughter got older, I wanted to teach her to enjoy cooking, to love cooking. You know, to love herself. And, you know, when you love yourself, you can do so much better with everything else. Even when things don't turn out right. I, I've seen times when me and her just laughed at something we cooked that didn't <laughs> It didn't come out right. Well, it's okay. It's okay it didn't come out right. We'll try again. You know, stuff like that. So, y'all, I'm adding in here these other meatballs into this pan. Because I just got them cooked just a little bit. And, okay, these here are going to have to stay over here. I'm going to try one for y'all as soon as I put this in the oven, y'all. So, these are going into the oven. I know I did not leave on that speaker. And I still have a little bitty some cooking here. Wait a minute. I gotta do something. What am I gonna do? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these off because these are done. These are done. I'm just gonna put them in a plate. And meanwhile, I'm gonna try one though. Oh yeah, these are done. Mm. Did I tell y'all I put an egg in there? Oh my god. Oh my god, you get a mm. You can taste the basil. Mm. That garlic, the onion. The ginger brightens it up. Mmm. I need, okay, my cookbook is coming next. That's it. I gotta do a cookbook. I gotta tell y'all how I put my twist on things. 
for a whole year last year i think i put nothing but recipes i'm not the rest well some of it i put the recipes up on facebook but now i just need to put it out there mm, this is good Whew. let me get this out of here though but what I'm fitting to do now is I need this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I need to make. Okay, let me take a picture of this. Let me take a picture of these little meatballs, how they look. Before they get up in that oil. Y'all think it's so good. Before they get up in that oil. Let me get a picture. I do not like stuff on the side of my plates when I take pictures. You want to clean the edges of your plate up? Just use some paper towel or one of your dish towels. Okay, so these are the meatballs. Look at that. How ground and pretty they are. Turkey meat. Y'all do know turkey meat is good for you too. So I didn't make these no cute little balls. I just made them some balls. <laughs> I just made them. But they're so pretty. And the other ones are in the oven. It's not going to take them other ones long at all to finish cooking. So I'm going to just go ahead and help myself to know one of these little meatballs. Y'all. Oh my god. Ah, they are so good. Mm. I kid you not. I can literally just sit here and pop these little suckers in my mouth all day. That's how good they are. Mm hmm. So next is my sauce. I need to clean this little pan out so I can do my sauce. Ooh, mm, I can have three of them. I'm gonna try this fork one. <laughs> That's one thing about cooking. You get to cook, you get to smack while you're cooking. Um, I'm thinking of something. Ooh, I want to cook these noodles now. I do, I want to wait. That is the question. So I want to do them now or later. I'm telling y'all, when y'all do those meatballs, be sure you add your parsley and your basil in there and your Italian seasoning. Mm. Oh, oh my God, that is so good. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and make my sauce. And so y'all are so lucky I'm here with you. I need to stop y'all. Like I'm eating all these meatballs. <laughs> Alright. So. Let me clean up my little mess. I love using this Lyso Kitchen Pro antibacterial spray, the orange kind. Mm, that smells so good to me. I used to couldn't use it, but look at me now. <laughs> mm, make the whole house smell fresh. Okay. 
So what I'm doing is I gotta go to this fridge and get some butter. Where's my flour? We're gonna need butter, flour, and I'm gonna use the other half of this purple onion that I had from last night. And by the way, y'all, that spaghetti was so good. That turkey spaghetti. Mm. You have to go hear the whole podcast for that. Um, let's Trying to hurt today. Mm. I'm gonna say I am well. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right. So what you hear is not potato chips, although I see some on the table, but they're not potato chips. This is cholesterol-free, low-fat, low-sodium noodles enriched with egg white pasta. These are the extra broad. You can eat one and a half cup of these. Carbohydrates are 40 grams, so it's half a dose. You can count carbohydrates. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and start heating my pan back up. And down in here, I'm going to cut off. Because, you know, for your sauce, you want it to kind of be like glazy brown. Brown is like, so it's going to take about three tablespoons of this butter. Well, I don't know if these are tablespoons. Let me see how much did I use. Yeah, I did. I actually counted it out right. Three tablespoons. Hey. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and cut up these onions. Like I said, you can use whatever kind of onions you want. These are just some onions from... These are some from last night. I had red onions last night. I want to save me a little bit for me a sandwich. Red onions taste good on a sandwich. Tomato sandwich tomorrow. Because I'm going to have the girls with me tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to be braiding hair tomorrow. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to be eating a sandwich when I start, when I take my break. Whole wheat bread it is. Not that I got to tell anybody. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, y'all. So that is going here. And you know what else I have? Let me turn this out now. I also have the other half of this red pepper here. I'm going to add this red pepper in there. Because red pepper and, and um, stuff like this, it tastes good together. I don't want to put the green kind because the green didn't have too strong of a pepper taste. And it'll take away from the, from our little roux, our little roux taste. And we don't want to take away from the roux taste. We want it to remain a roux and taste like a roux, kind of like a gravy. But not gravy, but roux. Well, it's the same thing, ain't it? <laughs> I just think I'm saying something. <laughs> okay, so let me crank my heat back up now that I'm stable here. I can do this. Okay, so there we go. Our butter is then melted. That butter just melted like too quick, y'all. For real. Okay, so this is going to go pretty quick. Um, this is going to go pretty quick, and you really got to get that flour in there because you don't that butter is gonna burn up quick you could just eyeball it too how much flour you, however much roux you want that's how much flour you put in there I need a whole pan so I put about a half a cup of flour 
because I have a big old turkey pan. You just keep stirring it in there. If you don't keep stirring, you're going to get something burnt. Oh, yeah. There goes that pretty brown I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. Come on through. Look at there. There it goes. That pretty brown. Now, if you must add some salt, you can add you some salt in there. If you just got to have it. But you don't really got to have it. So I like to add my water a little bit at a time so I can thin it out as I'm going. So I can see my trouble spots with flour. Because sometimes we get some flour that be kind of sticky, icky. You know, just be stuck and don't want to cooperate. Kind of like family members and friends and... So it sounds like everybody we love. <laughs> everybody we love. They don't want to co cooperate. Okay, so I have a big roux here. Because I'm making this extra saucy. Add some black pepper. My kids say I'm heavy handed with black pepper. And I probably am. Because it don't got sodium. <laughs> All right. Adding more water. Y'all hear my water? This is a constant motion. I mean, you have to keep stirring because you don't want your butter and your flour to burn. I'm going to sleep good tonight. And when I get up early in the morning, I got to do one thing back there tonight. I got to um, vacuum clean my floor. Y'all know on Tuesdays we don't play that. Gotta vacuum clean my bedroom floor. And then I gotta take the trash out of my bedroom. So I have to do that. I have to get the trash out by 8 o'clock. So I can go out. So, like I said, this is going to be a really thick roux. Like, really thick. But we don't even care. <laughs> Alright, y'all, I'm sleepy in case you didn't know it. I'm sleepy. It's 9 o'clock, too. Let me see, have I been on here an hour yet? Not yet. I'm getting a video in. Because I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Whenever I make this, I'm going to dump my noodles right on in it. I'm not going to cook my noodles separate or anything. Because you hear that water I'm adding? This water is going to help break this up and thin it out. Okay, let me see something. I need to taste this. Okay, so I need some onion powder and garlic powder. <laughs> yep, lots of onion powder. Lots of garlic powder. And I'm going to add just a hint of the... Just a little bit of ginger. Just a little bit. Not much. Just a little bit. Just enough that I can see it on top. That's all. Y'all can hear this, so I got to hurry up and add my water quick. Because you can hear it. If I don't get to it in time, you hear it starts making its own little noise. I'm going to add a little bit of chili powder to this mixture. Just to give it a little smokiness. Because you know you want that taste of comfort. Oh, I wonder if Golden Girls still got their marathon thong going on. <coughs> I just saw my TV going off. I did turn my head, y'all. The black pepper, I told y'all. Y'all know black pepper make you sneeze. If it don't make you sneeze, it probably ain't no good. I'm just being real. 
All right, so I think I got this pretty well seasoned and everything. So before I add any more water, I want to go ahead and put these noodles in there. Before I do anything else, I want to add these noodles. And I want to, now I can add more water to it. Because we basically just made the roux. And it's a thick roux, so the more water I add to it, it's going to thin out and fit nicely. It's going to complement these noodles. So, it's going to be all right. And all I got to do is mix, I got to pour this mixture into my pan that's in the oven. Mix it together, and voila, y'all, we have Swedish meatballs yes and y'all helped me stay awake while I was cooking I know my daughter like I know my mama tired cause I had the kids since like so I got the kids like uh, 8 o'clock this morning I have them for 8 hours you know working hours I don't mind when I'm in my good days I, I do it I don't I don't even it don't even matter and then even when I'm in my bad days, I still do it, but I don't keep them as long. That way, you know, that that takes care of my mental health. I do it, and when I feel overwhelmed, I call my daughter and I be like, okay, so I feel a little overwhelmed. You know, and then she'll send somebody at them. Her husband. Not somebody, but her husband. <laughs> I'm going to get their tails, though. I see something they did. But this is pretty much it, though, to making the Swedish meatballs. You know, because all this is going to, it's going to cook up just fine. And, you know, when you eat Swedish meatballs, y'all know that sauce is kind of brownish looking. You got to use the butter in order to get that look that I know of. I ain't even telling y'all that this is healthy cooking. I'm just telling y'all this is what we're going to eat. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this Wi-Fi, what is that? This thing is updating. I don't know what's going on with my back today. But my back is really hurting. This is the third time I done felt this pain in. And I think it's that strap. I honestly do. I think it's that guitar strap. That's what I think it is. Now, I have to make sure I keep my eye on this. Because remember, this is a roux. And once this stuff starts boiling, it's going to be thickening. And if it thicks too soon, it's going to cause the noodles to be undercooked. And the roux to be burnt. And that's going to be nasty tasting. I think it's that guitar strap. Because I was good till I started wearing that guitar strap. Now I'm like in pain. That thing hurts. Yeah, I ate another meatball. Sorry. <laughs> They're just so good. And this, um... I need to add a little parsley to this roux. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. I keep looking at that crushed red pepper, y'all, because I want to put that crushed red pepper in there so bad. Mm. God, these meatballs are so good by themselves. If you get tired of eating turkey burgers, do turkey meatballs. They do taste a little different from the burger. You can do them barbecued. Or like this, the Swedish kind. Y'all, I haven't talked about relationships in a minute in men because I haven't been really like like my focus been now on just, you know, building back up my clientele network and stuff. <clears throat> Trying to get back out here in the market of networking and podcasting and radio station all that good stuff 
So I haven't really been focused on it. And I don't feel bad for not focusing on it. I actually feel good. Because I feel like. Like I did talk to a guy the other night. I did enjoy talking to him. I read late. That he got 10 kids. And that. You know he's pretty stable though. I mean the number of kids. Don't bother me. But I'm starting to notice that. Do y'all remember the other guy that came on here and talked on the podcast not too long ago? Y'all remember he had 10 kids? So I'm starting to think that these guys that have a lot of kids are are drawn to women that they think have low self-esteem maybe. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to forecast too far out there or anything, but I'm starting to notice a trend in it. And then when I don't, when I don't agree with what they're saying, you know, I don't hear back from them anymore. So, I just stopped really looking like that. I mean, I play out there when I have time to. But right now, I got too much I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stay focused and, you know, trying to keep my life straight with God. And that's hard enough when you got church folks that's just so mean and nasty. Some of these church folks so mean and nasty. It's sad. It's really sad how people are. Anyways, okay. So my sister, y'all, let me tell y'all what my sister did. She tried the plant-based chicken nuggets from KLC. If y'all have tried those, let me know how they taste. Did y'all like them or not? She said she liked them. She would have brought me some, but, you know, she at the time, you know, it didn't, it crossed her mind, but she didn't, you know, she went straight to bring me none. I know she would have if she could have. But they look good, though. Y'all know this black pepper got my allergies. They look good. If y'all have tried that KFC, let me know in the chat, okay? Let me know. So here we go, y'all. We got our news that are still slowly cooking here. This is a slow rolling process. Yes, it is. This is going to be so good. Let me see what else is going on here. Could I love this? The church need to take down the spotlights. Put the altars back in place and give the attention back to God. And when they say altars, they don't mean altars, okay? Altars. Yes, give the attention back to God. That's why I can't understand. I'm I'm done with the theatrics and stuff and with the um theater performances and stuff. Come on now. I'm done with that. I, I need to see some God for real. I know it's people out here hurting and stuff and people going through stuff, all this grief and stuff out here. We don't need to see people just clowning God like that. It's crazy. But I love this post and I'm going to share it on my Facebook. By the way, y'all, if you have not already, go ahead and like my Facebook page, my Facebook fan page. It's my plus size grandma reality show podcast. Also, that's the same thing on YouTube and Twitter and TikTok and uh, what's the other one? Snapchat. It's at Miss Coco Bowden. All right. Okay, we got a little bubble going on here, y'all. We got some bubbling going on. And the noodles are cooking nicely, and they. They really don't mind cooking slow. I'm telling y'all, these noodles are having a good time in this bath. They do not mind cooking slow. I got to video it. Look at them, just cooking slow. They don't mind. Because they know they good. They don't mind. Oh, look at them. Just rolling. Mm, 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 mm. That's going to be good. I'm probably going to eat a little bit tonight before I lay down. Yep, I'm 
probably going to eat a little bit tonight. But I really do. You know what, though? The Bible speaks of all this stuff that's going on. So as long as we do see the theater people <laughs> cutting up, we know that the Bible is fulfilling. So I'm just going to say, you know, when it comes down to the Word of God and it comes down to prayer, you got to be careful how people pray over you. You got to be careful how they speak to you because they can break your spirit with one sentence. Been there, done that. So you just got to be careful, careful, careful. And y'all, these noodles are already so, so much about done that I can just go ahead and add these meatballs in there. Yep. Let me start videoing before I stir them in. Oh, I smell that garlic. Ooh, these look so good. Mm. The Bible is fulfilling itself. When you see these people cutting up like that, mm -hmm. that's the Bible being real. And the Bible already told you what to do for them. I'm going to cut this off because we're going to have to wait for the other, for the other meatballs before I cook any further. Alright, well, thank y'all. I am done with these um, Swedish meatballs except for the ones that's in the oven. All I'm going to do is pour them into the pan with the rest of this and that's it. But for the most part, this is it. I enjoyed y'all tonight. As always, thank y'all for being my company while I cook and chat. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends, your family. Just share on your page. So you ain't got to add no caption or nothing. No cap, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap. All you got to do is just say, hey, this is my homegirl page. No. All you got to do is just share it. That's it. Y'all, this sauce is everything and all that. I wish I could sh show it to y'all. That's why we made that roux thick. Because we knew we was going to have a lot. And, and look, once this cools down, that roux is going to get even thicker. And it's going to hug onto those it's going to hug onto those noodles like a spandex skirt with a woman with big hips. Mm-hmm. It's going to hug on there. And it looks so good. Ooh. All right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go, though, because I'm going to put on my TV because I'm getting bored now. And I need my TV. All right. Peace, love, happiness, and joy.